A good night's sleep is pretty important to an over-the-road driver. So is a sleeper with lots of room and some special amenities to make it a secure and relaxing place to spend your off-duty hours. Kenworth's premium driver studio package is all that and then some. We're in the cab of a brand new Kenworth T680. Today we're going to be having a look at what Kenworth calls its driver studio. It's a suite of options that the company released at the Mid-America Trucking Show this year, that's 2017. And the whole thing is aimed at driver retention, driver recruiting, and the aim is to give the driver as pleasant and as functional a working environment and an off-duty environment as possible. Let's start with the sleeper compartment itself. At 76 inches from front to back, it's really roomy. The walls and ceiling are thickly padded and well insulated. That not only provides good thermal insulation, it helps keep the outside noise to a bare minimum. The lower bunk is a luxurious 8-inch thick pocket coil mattress for comfort and support, even when the truck's moving. So we've got the wardrobe over here on the left-hand side, nice tall cabinet, and it's fairly wide as well. You've got tons of room for a load of pants and shirts hanging on those hangers. Uh, what's nice about this door, of course, is you've got two little pockets here to put stuff in, and up at the top you've got a little mirror just to make sure your hair is presentable before you set foot out of the truck in the morning. A lot of the inside of these cabinet doors are just bare plastic. Kenworth taking the extra step and put these two pockets in the mirror there. So, nice touch, Kenworth. And over here on the left-hand side behind the driver's seat, we've got the, the drawer fridge. This is a nice style rather than having a swing door where you have to reach down to get stuff. A little uh, partition container here to put soft drinks and what have you. And there's even a little freezer here. So ice cubes are no longer out of the question. That's the fridge, and then down below here, of course, one more nice deep drawer. Put lots more stuff in, so there's tons of storage back here. And I like the latches on these drawers. They're, they're gonna stay closed when you close them. Uh, and it's all built into a relatively attractive little package, and they've made all the corners on this round so that if you're walking through the sleeper, uh, you're not gonna be catching your thighs and your hips on uh, you know, right angles. Nice, uh, nice little touch there. There are two drawers over here on the right-hand side. Nice deep drawers with a good latch to hold them closed. They probably won't rattle while you're driving. So convenient, good storage space there. So I'm standing here between the mattress and the passenger seat. Loads of room. I can walk back and forth a couple of steps. All kinds of room to get between the seats. So even though the bunk is 10 inches smaller than the 86-inch studio, there's still plenty of room here for a single driver, even a team, to, uh, to move around and get all the uh, stuff you need going while you're in the sleeper. Up in the back here, this truck has got a, uh, an upper sleeper. Uh, really easy to reach up and pull that latch to get the bunk down, so no gymnastics required to do that. That's really simple. And of course, if you're the uh, second person in the bunk getting up, there's no great challenge. You know, one foot on the bed, one foot over here, and up you go. So that's a nice feature to work with. There are two windows up in the side of the bunk as well to add a little bit more daylight in here for when you're not sleeping. When you are sleeping, of course, you can zip the covers closed and it's nice and dark. And back here against the wall of the closet is the control panel for all the sleeper lights and the sound system, which by the way includes eight speakers and a 320 watt subwoofer, so it sounds pretty good in here. This truck had the optional Kenworth idle management system. It's a battery-based air conditioner coupled with a diesel-fired heater for winter. It wasn't really warm in the bunk the day we shot the video, but the electric air conditioning was great. Best of all, it was nearly silent. It makes no noise except for the hum of the fan. You won't get that with the diesel APU. So that's a look around the sleeper. Now let's check out this passenger seat. This is a pretty swift little option. What Kenworth tried to do with it is free up as much cab space as possible by allowing the drivers to twivel, swivel this chair right around, turn it right back here to this rear position. Now, the driving environment's behind you and you're looking into your sleeper. You can take this table, pull it around into position, and you've got a nice little dining table. You don't have to sit on your sleeper. And on the bunk, you don't have to worry about getting crumbs in the mattress. Everybody knows how annoying that is. So you can enjoy a nice intimate dinner or you can have a partner or a friend join you on the other side for dinner for two. You can also pull the flat screen TV out here, set that up, chow down while watching the news or a movie. It's a 
it's a nice way of opening up the cab and saying to the driver, well, you don't have to go back and sit in the bunk to have your dinner. You can turn the chair around and sit right here. Uh, all the features, all the comforts of home practically in a nice, compact and very sturdy little package and all, frankly, quite easy to deal with and really easy to, uh, to put away. So that's really all there is to it. There's a little catch down here on the left side of the seat. All you have to do is swing that out of the way and that frees up the locking mechanism so that the cab turns around. Conveniently, you can also move that with your foot. So right now, I'm standing on the little latch and of course the chair swivels around. Basically, you've got a nice comfortable seat to sit in, but you've got your living environment and your working environment is behind you. This is obviously a great owner-operator truck, but a lot of fleets are looking at them now as retention tools or incentive trucks. Either way, you won't be disappointed if you find yourself behind the wheel of one of these. Check out the video on the new Kenworth Aero Trim features, and don't forget to check out our test drive of the new Packard Automated Transmission. It's brand new, but it's got a heck of a lot going for it. At Kenworth R&D Center in Renton, Washington, I'm Equipment Editor Jim Park. Drive safe and keep your revs down.